Hey y'all, welcome back to this week's video. In today's video, I am going to show you Trello. So Trello is a free tool that I use in my business to organize all the things. And today I want to give you a little behind the scenes look at how I am utilizing Trello in 2022 to keep my business organized, both on the client end and on the digital product side. So when you first log in to Trello and remember Trello is free, so you can create a free account and we'll link it below. Um, when you first get into Trello, you will have, um, you'll notice that Trello is organized in work spaces. I have a lot of different workspaces all on the same account. Workspaces allow you to organize things by category. You can have as many as 10 workspaces under the free, excuse me, 10 boards on one workspace on the free Trello plan. So I have a lot of different workspaces here to organize the various aspects of my business, whether it's client work, my content strategy, an overview, like kind of my team and like our main workspace, all of my offers, and then my shop templates, which is the one that we're looking at now. I'm going to show you guys some of the boards on my shop templates so that you get an understanding of how I use these in my business. And you can also grab these for yourself and start using them in your own business now if you want to. So when we open up Trello, when we open up a board, it is called a board. So it's similar to Pinterest is the way that I like to think about it in my brain. Um, Pinterest, you organize things on a board. <clears throat> Trello, you're organizing to-dos on a board. Um, Trello on every board will have lists and cards. So these are all called lists. And then every single thing on the list is called a card. So down here, if we were to um, scroll horizontally over here, I could create a new list and then I can add cards to that list. I can also drag and drop the cards to move them where I want them to go on the board. On every single card, you can really beef up all of your productivity and efficiency on the card, meaning you can add in labels, you can add checklists, you can add due dates, you can add attachments, you can add cover photos, you can do so much all on one card. It's also really easy to drag and drop the card to a new list if you need to, or you can move the card to a completely different board and list, or just copy the card if you want to keep that same card. So many options, you guys. Um, a couple of the ways that I love to use Trello is for my weekly organization. I have two free My Week Trello templates. So those are going to be linked below for you guys. Um, the my week theme days and the my week two week guidebook this is a look at the my week theme days i don't use a paper planner anymore words i never thought i would say but i use trello to organize my week so i look at my google calendar i look at my client work and then i use trello to organize what's happening in my week this is a theme day board meaning that i have it organized by each day has a specific theme so you can batch your content and batch your work if you prefer to to do that via a theme. The two week guidebook board looks a little bit different and allows you to organize your day and your week differently if you prefer to do it that way. So both of those are free templates. I will include those below. I want to show you guys a couple of other boards though, so you can really see how beneficial Trello can be for your business. One board that I use all the time, and we also use this a lot for our client work is our blog planning board. Now this one could also be called a content calendar board. If maybe you're not a blogger, um, and you want to use this to organize YouTube videos or podcast episodes or Instagram posts, however you want to do it. But this is a, um, board I, that's included in the templates, but this is a way that you can keep 
everything organized for your content calendar. So you can see, um, you can have your Google Drive folder, a Dropbox folder, you know, you can have links here for things. You can have labels. So depending on if you have various blog categories and you wanna be able to easily see them, um, you can add the labels to your cards. You can also have labels for when content is ready and done. If you have a team working on it, or even just for yourself, if you wanna remember where you are in the process of working on on content. Um, I've got some other quick grab things down here included. And then here is a full workflow. So if you are somebody that is thinking about bringing on a team or bringing on a VA or just really starting to think through how can you outsource some of the work on your plate, having workflows like this set up in Trello is going to be so helpful for you in onboarding that person and in communicating virtually to make sure that work is being done. You can add a due date. Um, you can have the links here in the card description, the featured image for you know the blog or the Instagram post. And then I even included a sample workflow the way that my team does it is our names are here. So I would know my part of the workflow would be like here. Let me actually just duplicate this card for you guys so we can look at it easier. Um, so I can all like edit one for y'all. Um, so mine would say like tag and then I would put tag Elizabeth when ready. So I know my job is writing content. Like that is my zone of genius for the business. It's my voice. I am writing the content. So I'm going to get this done. Then I'm going to tag my team member when it's ready. And then she's going to have her work here. So she's going to be able to work on graphics, get things ready to go. And then this one is also her as well. So you might have like a part one and a part two, because I just have, you know, if you just have one team member working on all of the things and you can even say tag cat when scheduled and ready to go. So then you're still aware of where the blog is or where the YouTube video is, whatever you know, it, content that you're working on, where it is in the process. So this is a really simple and straightforward way for you to start to streamline all of that content that you're putting out there. You can also then duplicate this. So um, say this is for, you know, um, the, like we're working in for the month of September, I can duplicate so I can say copy and I can update. I can say, okay, well, the date's going to be September 18th and the name of the video is a BTS look at Trello. It's going to stay in month one. I'm going to put it in position two. I don't want to include the same attachments because that photo will change, but I want all of my checklists. I'm going to create the card. And now here we go. I've got that card, a new card ready to go. Um, something that you can't see because this is a template, but you can also comment down here. So when I'm saying tag, that's what that looks like is commenting on the uh, card to let someone know you know, let that team member know it's ready or where it is in the process, or even just leave notes for yourself if you need to. So many options here, you guys. Trello also has an app for your phone. I love it because like I mentioned before, I don't use a weekly planner anymore. So when I think about something, when I'm like, you know, driving in my car or in the shower or lying in bed at night, I can grab my phone, not when I'm driving, of course, but I can grab my phone and add that reminder for myself electronically right there in Trello. So really helpful. I also like that with having my whole team onboarded on Trello. So with our having our content calendar here, project management, client work, all of that, I can see it on my phone on the go as well. Such a lifesaver. Um, another board I'll show you guys before we wrap up is a project management board. So this is more of a generic board, but if you're working on a project in your business, maybe you are thinking about launching a course or creating a group coaching program and you want a way to streamline and organize what are you doing? How is the work going? This would be a great way to do that. So you could have some workflows here if you need that priority to do's for yourself, ideas. This is, is um, this board is thinking through like if it's a video project. So like ideas, what's in progress, what's been published, 
what is in the pipeline. So again, just a great way that you can really make Trello work for you and the way that you need it to operate for your business. It's a wonderful tool. I'll include those links below that I mentioned for the free templates for you. And also I have a bundle of 10 Trello templates in my shop um, that just to have a plethora of templates available for you from quarterly planning to taking time off to offer funnel to launch planning so many options available for you so if you have any questions about that or digging into these templates further please let me know i love talking about trello put a comment on this video send me a voice dm on instagram and let's keep chatting